go. Um, I want to welcome all the new people. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put the camera up so you can see me. I want to welcome all of you that are new. Welcome to my show. Um, and for those of you that are old and stale, uh, welcome to you as well. Uh, I'm going to put the camera down. And if you are having problems, yes, please refresh. And we are going to get started tonight. We're going to do some fabulous uh, cigar box altering, okay? As well as um, a mini that goes inside the cigar box. So here's the deal, you guys. Um, here's the deal with the cigar box. The cigar boxes are literally on sale as we speak. It is 7 p.m. on my blog. Um, our wonderful... Uh, host or not hostesses, but our um, moderators tonight have just posted the link so you can go ahead and buy them. Now, listen, um, here's the deal with the uh, the boxes. And actually, let me put the camera up so you can actually see me. You can see my face. So the deal with the boxes is this. Um, there is so many different sizes and so many different kinds that I've kind of divided them into two different types of sections. One of them is like a paper style uh, type box. They're not paper, but they're um, more the traditional style boxes. And the other ones are more like the really beautiful wooden ones. And these kind are like $5 because they're beautiful boxes. I'll show you a whole bunch of different ones so that you can kind of see the options. But you don't get to pick... If you buy the $5 option, you'll get whatever size and dimension it comes in because they're all different. I don't have one that's the same. Um, and then the other one's the same thing. The other ones are $2. So there's some that are five, some of them are two. Now, it depends on how many you buy, that's how much your shipping will be because your box, depending on how box your big, your big how, bleh, how big your box will be, um, it'll depend on where I'm sending it to and, um, you know, what dimension the actual box is that I'm sending it to. So I can't really figure out the shipping until I know what you're buying. Um, I'm sure it's not going to be cheap because, you know, they're boxes. So, but they are super light. So it's not really the weight that's so much. It'll be, um, it'll be mostly the, the dimension, right? And where it's going to. I have no problem shipping, shipping to Australia, New Zealand, wherever. I've been asked a lot. Um, so anyway, let me give you a quick uh, look as um, at the examples of the boxes so that you guys can see them live. Okay, so here's the deal. So these ones like this, these are $2, okay? So they're kind of like, and they're all Cuban. They're kind of like, you know, these, ow, ouch, there's a pin in there. Okay, they're, they're nice, but they're super, super light, okay? So there's these ones, oh, shoot. And then this is another one that's $2, but you see it's a little bit different, right? So it's more square. So there's that. And then there's the really gorgeous ones, which I love. And these gorgeous wooden ones are $5. Okay. Just like so. Stunning, right? And then look at this other wooden one. I mean, one is nicer than the next, right? And gorgeous little clasps. Look at inside. And velvet inside. They're really beautiful. So, um, you know, it's... And then there's this one that I'm making tonight, right? So lots of, and like, oh, this one is just like this one. So there's like some of them that'll be two of the same, but most of them are not the same. So anyway, that's kind of the deal. Um, go nuts. And the shipping, like it says on the blog, in, what I'm doing is you guys can buy the boxes and then I will send you a shipping invoice for the actual shipping before I ship it. And I will not ship your boxes unless I receive the, um, unless I receive your pay, your shipping payments, because this costs a lot of money and I don't want to eat it up. I've done, I've had that before where people have, you know, burned me in the past where I've sent them stuff and they haven't 
paid for the shipping. So anyway, that's what I'm doing, okay? If you're interested, by all, by all means, do it. If not, that's okay. There's, there's lots. Okay. I'm going to put the camera down. And do I have any other uh, announcements? The other last announcement, um, sorry to, to bug you with announcements, is uh, there's uh, on Thursday is my first Live with Prima show. So please log in and uh, come watch. It'll be so much fun. Um, and um, maybe if Dawn or Susie or Chocolate Labs can post the link to the Prima, the Live with Prima um, Ustream channel, that would be fabulous. So that's Thursday at, it would be 7.30 p.m. What is that? Eastern or Pacific Standard Time, I think. So anyway, let's put the camera down. Oh, Lisa Gregory, you made it. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. <laughs> hey, Frank. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Thank you. All right. So um, tonight, tonight, I am going to be using the fabulous uh, Fairy Rhymes Collection by Jody Lee. Yay, Jody Lee. I'm hoping that Jody Lee can make it at least for five minutes. Um, one of my absolute favorite collections that Prima has made, it is, or that Jody has made, really. Um, it is so stunningly gorgeous, you guys. Um, I'm gonna go kind of through it really quick, but this is the um, this is the paper pack, the 12 by 12 paper pack. And uh, the paper pack comes with these fabulous um, little, what do you call them, stickers and little things look at these tags aren't they fantabulous and um this paper this one right here is like one of my absolute favorites stunning right look at the back sides i mean hello look at that check out this wood grain right and that that beautiful i know oh sorry i just keep it down like this maybe that's easier the beautiful keys and I love just the simple one and what else look at this gorgeousness this, look at this ephemera right just like cut this up so stunningly beautiful um what else some more of the gorgeous bird and look at that stunning right this little girl Lots of, this is one of my favorites. Love this. So anyway, this is the collection um, that I'll be using tonight to create the paper, the um, box. And where did the box go? Did I put it away? Oh, I put it with the other boxes. That was done. Um, sorry about that. Here it is. It's back. Um, so that's what we're going to do to alter this box and it'll be really really easy to alter these boxes so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go ahead and kind of paint a little bit of the sides i am going to cover this box with a paper but some of the sides are still going to show because i'm not covering it the whole way so uh, i am going to use a little bit of gesso at first because this is kind of like these boxes are slightly glossy you want to make sure that um you know you cover them up if um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this and i'm going to grab my little dish so much for being prepared right guys i know so pretty so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to use do i want to use this brush no i really don't let's use um let's use this guy this guy's kind of breaking on me so and all I'm doing, you guys, is the edges. I'm actually not doing the entire thing because, like I said, I've um, I've already cut the paper such that only the edges are showing. And the reason, it, like I said, I'm using gesso is to prep the box because if I were to put white acrylic paint on here or cream ac acrylic paint, it's actually not going to take because the box is quite shiny. So that's why I'm doing this. And I'm not even worried about that paper right there. It just adds dimension. Plus, it'll get covered with flowers anyhow. So who cares? That's what I say. And because there's an opening here, right? Do you see that? There's an opening right there. Then uh, I want to do the edges just around. 
and as you can see I'm not being very careful because it doesn't matter it's just prepped I'm gonna go ahead and use some cream over top of it okay so just like that and I'm gonna do all sides sorry I have a new camera set up and I'm trying to <laughs> trying to be in focus <laughs> until I figure it out might take me a couple more shows until I get the hang of it okay positive thing is Ava is not crying at the moment okay that's a very positive thing okay what did Frank do to you what kind of evil d deed did he do okay and I'm gonna do the back a little bit we have three fabulous moderators tonight so if you do have any questions and I'm really not answering you I'm really sorry but um, Susie, which is Yvonne, and Don Edwards and Chocolate Labs, which is uh, Joe, uh, will text me or yell at me or something and let me know that you're trying to uh, have a question answered, okay? So we have three um, um, amazing mods tonight. So don't fret if I am just not answering you, all right? So that's all I'm doing. Okay, and then I'm kind of leaving that for a moment, and I'm going to go ahead and do the inside. And this, the inside is actually getting covered, so I'm not worried too much, but I do want to do the edges here. Can you believe I'm not wearing an apron? I know. Silliness. Silliness, silliness. But it's an old dress shirt thing, so I don't actually care all that much if I get paint on it. Plus, it gives it, um, you know... What do you call it? Um, gives it like um, character. That's the word I'm looking for. A little character. Just like that. Gotta love a little gesso. And this I probably do not need to gesso, but you know, the inside, cause it's not, um, like it's not primed. It doesn't have any of um, that glossy stuff, but I like to, I just like to add a nice rough layer of it. Cause I find that the paint, if I put it on, will uh, adhere so much better. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm being rough with it. I don't really care. As long as there's no pools of paint, then that's all that matters. Um, are you asking what gesso I'm using? I'm using, if that's what you're asking, I don't know. I didn't see what the question was, but it's uh, Liquitex gesso, just if you want to know. I'm not removing it I don't mind if it's if it even turns white but you guys know I'm not a perfectionist right and this is a kind of a mixed media box so who cares I think I'm I can't remember if I cut something for the inside so I'm not painting it perfectly because I think I actually cut a piece of paper for the inside but that's okay At least the sides are done okay that is good enough for me I don't need any more and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it a very quick heat set just whoa just to ensure that it's dry and I can apply my actual acrylic paint on it I use Liquitex is new to you which brand
Gesso is like the best thing since sliced bread, I tell ya. I see we have 17 guests um, or 18 or so. So if you are a guest, um, go ahead and make a, um, <coughs> what do you call it, a, um, um, a login name for yourself and come join the chat. It is a lot of fun. Any primer would work, yes, of course. Um, but yes, log in so that we can know who you are and you can join our awesome, fabulous group. Okay. If you're getting a black screen, there's a lot of viewers on, so go ahead and um, refresh. Okay. That sometimes happens. Are we back? Are we back on track? Okay, fabulous. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, I'm going to use uh, buttermilk by uh, Americana, and I'm just going to do a little bit of the edges. And am I even cleaning my brush? Yeah, maybe a little bit. You guys know me. I don't clean my brushes very well. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and give it one layer of paint. And I'm not trying to be perfect with this either. And I'm not sure you guys can even tell this is cream. Can you guys even see that this is cream? You guys see? That's the color? Okay. I know the, the lighting sometimes is a little bit off. But I'm just giving it on the sides one coat of the cream. And then the paper is going to go over top of this. So you're only going to see a very small portion. So that's why I'm not caring too, too much about being perfect. And we're going to add so much other medium over top of it that if you're a perfectionist, you don't need to be. Not for this project anyway. If you're doing your own thing, then I don't know. That's fine. But if you're copying this, then no need. Kind of gives you a little bit of freedom to just not be perfect, you know, and sometimes, you know, I got to tell you, um, this week certainly, um, has been one of those weeks that, uh, has made me realize that there's just, you know, sometimes we're so hard on ourselves and we think that we need to be perfect. We really don't. Um, it just, we are who we are and people will like us or, or won't. It's just, it's not up to us to decide. People will make their own decisions, but, just stay true to yourselves and who you are. I know I'm giving you a little bit of a spiel, but it's it's so true. I I myself forget sometimes to just be, be true to myself and not worry about, you know, what others think and such. But um yeah, that's that's what I've got to say. I don't even know how I got on that tangent. But uh don't try to be perfect. There really isn't such a thing. There's just you, and you are all original. There's, I promise you, there's not any more of you. You are you. There's just only one. Yeah, you know, there's gossip everywhere. Every industry, every, who cares? Nothing you can do about it. You can't stop it. <laughs> All right. So I think that's good. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to give it a quick heat set um, before I open it up. Look at me. I am a disgusting mess. Disgusting. I know. It, it's kind of hard to um it's kind of hard to cover some of these gorgeousness right but you know what um yeah you know what though sarah it's um it only hurts if you let it because you know there it's not true it's just um people people just say things because they just need to they have they need to say stuff or just i don't know to make themselves feel better but um just be true to yourself. That's the only thing you can do, you guys. Honestly. I 
and and you know i just want to thank you all for supporting me you guys have been so incredibly amazingly supportive and um i can't honestly i can't thank you enough i mean the emails and the 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 classes you show up to and um the gifts i get sent weekly i mean come on it's just awesome yes exactly karma baby oh exactly don't let them hurt you because they win okay let's open this up and once we're done painting this then we can go ahead and just uh start embellishing this box with the oh so fabulous paper by Jodie lee and prima sorry if i'm off camera sometimes this new get up this new ustream get up is a little bit um weird for me it's it's very new it's um they really change things up in case you i know you for you guys it doesn't but for the um Frank, I don't know if you've noticed how they changed it up. At least for me it has. Oh, look at that. Steph O'Gal is here. Steph, I'm hoping that you'll love the little mini I make tonight. Because I am so, um, I don't know. I think since I've been watching you, you've got me inspired to do minis again. I used to do them a long time ago. And I was playing around the other day and I found the coolest little um way to do a mini it's like super simple because i was trying to make something for the girls and i was like heck i can use this for the show <laughs> so uh what turned into a kid project um you know is making it now on live show so i hope you can be proud of me today Okay, so this box, I'm just painting. Can you guys see the cream a little bit better now? Okay. I bet you I didn't even have to cover this up because I think I already pre-cut the paper. See, I don't even know what I prepped. This is what happens when you're prepping like 20 classes at a time. <laughs> this is what happens. You have no idea what you've actually prepped for. Oh, dear. I think today I worked on four different classes. And um, at one point today, I was like, somebody get me some coffee. When I was in Israel, I kind of took up coffee again, even though I know I shouldn't because it, um, it really hurts. It hurts me. But um, I don't know. The, I brought back coffee from Israel, and I'm loving it, and it doesn't have the same effect on me. I have no, no idea why. Maybe it's light. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I took it up again. Almost done finishing painting this box, and we'll heat it up and start adding all the wonderful beautiness. And then that mini, I swear to you guys, how how fast do you think this mini will get done today? I promise you, it's like the fastest mini you have ever done in your entire life. And it's like as cute as pie. Oh, my hands are cold I'm warming them up <laughs> yeah it'll take honestly I bet you it'll take under like two minutes to construct it all super deeper and I know that oh how was my trip it was great Leslie thank you you know I didn't realize that there's so many people on here that haven't seen me or talked to me since the trip the trip was amazing thank you no, less, Frank, less. Two minutes, baby, two minutes. Okay, we're just making sure that this is dry so that at least when I close it up, it doesn't get uh, stuck together. So that's, you know, that's a, oh, see, look at the hands. Fast and scrapping, no, I promise you, I promise you, it's fast. I'm using a cigar box, and all I can smell right now is um, 
is like that you know that honey that beautiful honey smell cigars have before they're smoked I hate like cigar smell right but these are like that sweet honey right that cigars have when they're just in the um, with their when they're not smoked okay yay I think it's fairly dry I'm gonna put this in water and I'm gonna move this off to the floor and put this on the side okay now what we're gonna do is we are going to take and I've actually look at look at what I've done for those of you that have missed the um, collection that we're using tonight I'm just going to do it really quick. We're going to be using the Fabulous Fairy Rhymes collection by uh, Prima that Jody Lee designed. All this beautiful gorgeousness of a paper we're going to be using. And I have already pre-cut some of the paper to make it a little bit easier and faster for us to be able to create tonight. So what I've done is um, I've used one of the papers here and I'm just see how much it gets covered. So you don't need to worry too, too much, right? And I'm just going to pull out my chalks by, these are all the beautiful Prima chalks, and I just love them. I'm going to be using the Pastel Peach, I think, and I'm also going to pull the Pastel Pink, because I love that. And maybe a little bit of Attic Dust, because it's one of my favorites. Ooh, Dry Sand is pretty too. Maybe all these four. I love them. They're very pastel-y and beautiful, okay? So let's try this um, dry sand. Ooh, I love that. Okay, we're sticking with dry sand. Dry sand it is. Okay, so we're doing the dry sand. So gorgeous, so gorgeous. It's kind of like, it's in between, I'm going to say it's in between a brown and a pink. I don't even know how to describe that. I think that's it's kind of a it's between brown and pink and what I'm gonna use to uh, glue this down if I can actually reach hang on a second is I'm gonna be using my sequin tape you guys call it uh, there's some that's what's it called score score tape same thing same company I bet you and if they're not the same company they're competitors that have the exact same product I think I don't know I'm making that up but um, it's the same thing it's really strong tape yes you can find it on Jody Lee's um, Etsy store she's got a store and she does sell her paint she does sell these papers which is fabulous so you know what I say support the artist that made them right gotta support the artist so that they can keep making this wonderful paper for us if we don't support them who's gonna make this beautifulness okay so ta-da look at that and I'll show you really quick look how pretty that looks already right gorgeousness yeah it's called Sue Quang tape see can you guys see that Sue Quang bet it's the same thing it's it's you know um, same thing anyhow all right, the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to take the sides. I'm going to put this on the side just for a moment. And I've already pre-cut them so that it's really easy for us to put this together. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? And one of them, I don't know if I want to like here. Yeah, I think I want this right here. So I am going to chalk it up. I'm really loving this color. I think I need to get a second one because I can see myself using it all the time. Don't you love it when you just find that right color of things? I just love it. And you just fall in love. That's me. I fall in love easily with paper, especially. And and inks I love this sequin tape by the way because it is super strong and really easy to use very very easy to use
Yes, order from Jody Lee, of course. Do it. What's $52? The paper? No. I, I'm not sure what $52 you're talking about. Paper is definitely not $52. Look how gorgeous that is, right? Oh my goodness. And this one, now that I can't take out, uh oh, hang on, we gotta ink this puppy up. Where are you going? I don't know. Do we want to do both? No, we want to do it this way. I really like that too. Look at those gorgeous little stars, right? Can you guys kind of see that ink? Oops, sorry. Pretty, huh? Oh, the complete set of chalk inks. That's cheap. That's pretty awesome. I'm telling you, these chalk inks are like are awesome 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 i you know how i mean i love my tim holtz distress inks and i do use them all the time like for sure and i must say that my prima chalk inks are also the other thing that is a must have in my scrap room all the time like all the time so I, I would um I would totally invest in those you guys and they're not and they don't dry out like they take have like I've had mine for a long time like the ones that are um from last year or the year before like I've had them that's a wicked price I would say okay so we're going to go ahead and add this right in here. My, it looks like my, ooh, ooh, I get, I can't, I can say that my um, measuring wasn't that fabulous, as you can see. But you know, we just make it fit. <laughs> we just make it fit. Okay, see that beautifulness? Don't you love this paper? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I better, I got to paint in here. I missed this part. That's okay. We'll do that after. Um, now what we're going to do, I'm just going to close this up and we're going to go ahead and add the, all these bottom pieces. Okay. So I've already pre-cut them so that you don't have to sit here and watch me. But do you see how it doesn't matter how bad I was at painting it because you just apply this and you are good to go. Now, I do want to add a little bit of, I'm going to use my Beacon Zip Dry a little bit for the sides here. Oh, this is a new one. Look at that. Hang on. There we go. Because um, you do want to get the sides in a box. You certainly don't want the sides to kind of poke up. That would be really annoying and wouldn't look very good. So I would do that if I were you. Ooh, that's stinky. Okay. Stinky. Usually I use, you guys know, I use my, um, what's the other one called that I use? The 3-in-1 or the Fabri-Tac. So that's what I usually use, but that's fine. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of that. just like this and then I'm just going to add to the sides of this I'm going to add I'm going to pull this off I think my kids are about to get yelled at just saying so if you hear me yelling you'll know why it's because they're being not listening at the moment they're fighting with each other again they're having a bad day we're just having a bad day. Ava's sick, so she's as grumpy as a little bear. And uh, and Hannah's just being mean. Hannah takes, you know, take advantage. She takes advantage when Ava is sick. I swear, it's like a, it's a big sister thing. I, I'm sure. Nothing you can do about it. Sorry, I'm a little bit off camera there. I'm just gonna add the fabric tech, I think. It's just easier that way. Or zip dry, not fabric tech. Okay. 
Okay, just like that. Beautifulness, beautifulness. I don't hear them right now, so unless there's crying, I'm not going upstairs. Because, you know, I'm doing a show. I'm doing a show, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's so nice to see, you know, more gentlemen join the crafting industry. So fun. When I first started scrapbooking, like Tim Holtz was, I'm sure, the only man in the industry that was crafting, I swear. Oh, don't get me started. Uh, I, I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> I um, I really like Beacon Glue. I like the company as a whole. Okay. Did everybody get their cigar boxes? Did everybody get a chance to get their cigar boxes? If you didn't, you better hurry. They might be all gone by now. I'm not sure. It'll tell you if they're sold out. Okay, I'm just getting the sides here. I'm just pressing it down so that I can get all that gluey, gooeyness out. Isn't this super cute? I love this box already. I just, I love this collection. It just makes it so, so pretty. Oh, good luck with your surgery. I'm not sure who's having surgery, um, but good luck. All right. Next, we'll do a little bit more. I am so, oh, I'm so excited, you guys, for Thursdays at Live with Prima. I know I've said this already before, but it's my first one, and I'm so excited and nervous. It's like I've never done it before because <laughs> it's all new people, and I, I'm hoping that they'll like me and that they'll be nice. <laughs> oh, my husband thinks I'm crazy, but I've been so nervous about doing the Live with Prima show. Is that not the craziest thing? Oh, come on, stick down. I don't, I'm not sure why this corner does not want to stick down. It's kind of driving me nuts. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta like hold it down. Oh, the wood boxes are sold out. Okay, I'll see if I can, I, I might have some more tomorrow, okay, you guys? Did you get them for free? I know, I know, I'm totally going to be me, but you know what, it's still, um, it's nerve wracking because it's, it's a whole, but it's a, it's all new people, right? So it's kind of like, ee! I don't know, I get weird, I get weird about it, I don't know, I shouldn't get weird, right? All right, I won't. Oh, shoot, I keep dropping this thing. All right, here we go. Here we go. I think we're just about done this box, at least just the, the paper covering of it. Okay. Oh, um, can somebody post the Live with Prima link for uh, this lovely uh, super touch? I can't read that. It's too fast. Super something. Super California. Okay. You know what? This right here, since I'm not covering it, I'm just going to add a little bit of the um, cream. Okay. So give it a minute. I just need to add a little bit because I can't see it like that. And I'm just going to grab a smaller brush, I think. Where is it? Here. I'm going to add a smaller brush and just um, do the little bit of edging here because it's really hard to cover this part because it's where the clasp is. And as you can see, I am covering the clasp with the cream because I think it looks better that way. I think it's prettier. And because I put gesso, see, if I wouldn't have put gesso, you guys, there's no way you guys would have been able to see the cream the way that you're seeing it. It would have been super blotchy and ugly. 
honestly. So that's why I did that. Okay, fabuloso, right? Okay, so we've got our box super covered. And have we done the inside yet? We did, right? Yes, we did. So we're gonna put this off to the side. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the top of it, okay? And first we're gonna start with our paper and then we're gonna go on with the mixed media details. And then we'll do the mini. And surprisingly, we'll have time for everything. Isn't that crazy? This is what happens when you prep Lee more. So remind me to prep more often, okay? So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, one of the pieces and we're gonna put it right over top of it. And the dim I I'm not giving you the dimensions because each cigar box is totally different, um, of course, right? So take it, um, copy it um, to the dimension that your box is, okay? And you can use Zip Dry again, or you can use uh, the fabulous score tape or sequin tape or whatever tape you have that you love, by all means use it, okay? Just make sure it's strong enough. But because this is paper to paper, you're not gonna have to worry too much. I try to use something that's stronger when it's paper to um, wood or paper to metal or something like that, right? Okay, just like so. And I love to use my Prima uh, craft knife to peel this off because my nails are horrid. I have these horrific fake nails you guys do you see my new color okay I hate it I cannot wait to change it I'm going tomorrow and I'm asking her to change it I can't stand it I don't know it's like too muted and it's summer and I think I need to be like I need to be summery so it's kind of killing me you know what I mean burn you know what I'm saying Okay, so there's that. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is, hang on, I'm just gonna pull this off. See these wonderful little tags? Okay, I'm gonna rip this sheet off. There we go, just like that. And I love, love, love these little tags. Have I said that before? Good. And I'm gonna take these beautiful ones. I'm thinking maybe this, this pretty one right here, this one. And we're going to have it, ooh, do I want that one? Actually, I, I've changed my mind. I would like this one right here because I like the blue. And I'm going to have it pop right there, okay? Just like that. And next, I am going to put this one right over the top. this one just like so okay such prettiness I'm, I'm switching to the zip dry be for no reason whatsoever except for the fact that I'm just switching to it and because that's what I do Isn't this pretty so far? I love this. I love this paper. Like this paper just does the collection so much goodness. And am I missing a piece? I, I thought I was. I don't know where it went. But anyway, it doesn't matter. And then what I'm doing is one of the images from the paper, what I've done is I've cut it up. It's the full 12 by 12. And I'll show you. It's, um, where is it? Let me find it. For you see right here I've cut it up almost like a like it's my photo okay and then I've created a couple mats for it so I've created a matting one that's a little bit a quarter of an inch bigger and then two, uh, two quarters of an inch so half an inch bigger than this one okay so that it mats together okay just like that and then again I'm just going to ink the edges it just kind of softens the edges a little bit more. Super simple box, yet super fun. Super, super fun. 
And of course, I will add my mixed media touch to it, as you guys know. Just like I do with everything. Isn't the bird beautiful? I had to use it. I just had to use it, you know? Okay, and then we've got this one right on the top. So then we're going to ink this up. like so and we're gonna look how beautiful that girl is don't worry I've cut another one up that we can use as well in the mini and stuff okay just like so gorgeousness right gorgeous I'm just gonna make sure look how pretty that is I know right the moderators are Don Edwards, Susie 800, which is um, Yvonne, and Chocolate Labs, which is Joe. Is there a troll or something? All right. Is everybody good? All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it right there. Just like that. Just like that. Right on the side there. Okay. Steph, I'm only fast because um, I prepped. <gasps> oh, when I move, it gets pixie. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop moving. I'll just like freeze. Okay, this is what we've got so far gorgeousness right and that's just paper you guys right there's like nothing more than just paper right there okay and this guy look how cute she is I don't want to put her right here but I I was thinking of using her on the mini or oh I was actually thinking of putting her somewhere inside so we can play with her later okay so we'll kind of stick her inside for now so that we don't forget her or lose her and um we're gonna go ahead and continue um just doing the beautifulness to this uh, gorgeous box. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my fabulous, you guys know this, you guys know I use this all the time. This is just cheesecloth and I buy it in a giant big thing from the dollar store. You can buy it at the grocery store. It doesn't matter. Okay. And I'm just going to cut some up and I never use as much as I cut, but I like to cut more than what I'm going to use just to have on hand and I just rip it apart and put the rest down there and just pull it apart and sometimes it has several layers so what you want to do you see this I don't know let me show you hang on I don't know if you can tell see how it has several layers just peel it apart because it's much easier to use okay Oh, I'm getting text. Let's make sure that something's going up. Uh, step. Oh, HQ. It is on HQ, honey. Mine is on HQ. And it's like high quality. I think, I wonder if it's because there's so many people on... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually, I'm going to use about this piece just like this. And I'm kind of ripping it apart. I want some like chunky big, can you guys see this? I don't know if you can see this. Can you guys see the chunky big holes? Right, like that big hole. I kind of want it like that. So pull it apart. And the next thing that I'm going to do, I want it a little bit white, but I actually also want it a little bit cream. So what I'm going to use is my pastel peach and I'm going to scrunch it all together and I'm just going to ink it up. See how it dirties up with my uh, chalk inks. And I'm sure you guys have seen me do this technique before. Maybe you haven't. I know there's some new viewers. So if this is old for you, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And just like that and just but then it kind of gives the um, cheesecloth a little bit of color right 
it's just so pretty and it's very subtle now before we go ahead and put this gauze on what I'm going to use is <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to use this beautiful new uh, Viva Decor stone effect paste okay and it is super fun Limor Vaughn said you to try and change the option to regular. Okay. How's that? Is that better? I don't think so. Try that. Is that better, you guys? Let me know as soon as you see it. Is that better, you guys? I don't think so, because it doesn't show up as very well on my computer. Anyhow. Okay, so we're going to open this up. And what this is, can you see this is like a multi-tool? <laughs> Okay, uh, this is called Stone Effect Paste, and uh, it's really, really cool. And I'm going to grab a little knife, like this, one of these knives, and it's kind of like sand, if you will, right, like stone. Um, the, lightning is, the lighting is darker. Hang on, hang on. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, tell me if this is better. If it's, I'm going to wait two minutes. Is this a little bit better? Sorry, you guys. Steph, is this good? Was it moving around? Hey, Michelle. I know it's a little bit um, beside. It is better because this is on uh, low Q, by the way. Oh, I see. Well, tell me if you want me to change it back to HQ because right now it's on low Q. Oh, it's all smushed up. Oh. Uh, it looks great. Okay. All right. So anyway, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to go ahead and add a little bit of texture to my page. Don't y'all freak out. It's fine. It just adds a little bit of texture and a little fun. And I can go ahead and kind of paint this. Just make sure you don't get the opening. It's like, it's like stucco, kind of. It's kind of like stucco. I think is hilarious and it adds a little bit of funness and mixed media to it okay good thanks Steph that's so weird that it's better on low Q but that's fine it's good okay so I'm just adding a I just wanted a little bit of texture that's all and I'm adding a little bit right here too Add a little bit of Jesse to it in a bit. I kind of love that sound. I feel like, I don't know, like eating a candy or something. It's like crunch, crunch, crunch. Do you guys see the funky texture it gives it? How fun. How, how fun. And you don't want to add too much, just a little bit. I wonder how well this thing would do on a stencil. You know what I mean? Might be a little bit hard to use on a stencil. That would be my guess. 
Okay, and I'm just gonna add a little bit on the back as well. Oh dear, where'd it go? I actually got mine at the Urban Scrapbooks, so you can go ahead and if you're a local person, you can get yours at the Urban Scrapbooks. If not, um, if you are from the U.S., why don't you go ahead and head over to the Flying Unicorn because I know that she carries these. Um, Okay, super fun. That's all the texture I want and need. Maybe a little bit on the top here, but that's it. Just like that. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick heat set. You know, it's so weird that it looks fine right now because um, I can barely see a photo on mine. It's like super yucky, but that's okay. I'm just drying this up. Oh, really? Oh, good. Good to know. Oh, it dries up really quick, you guys. Holy moly. That is so cool. It dries very fast. That is good to know. You know that I just, you are my guinea pigs tonight? You really are. You're my guinea pigs. This is the first time I've used it, and I absolutely love it. So if something works on a show, you better believe um, I will use it again. Oh, Steph, have you not been to the Flying Unicorn? Oh, you must. It is fun. The forms at the Flying Unicorn are beautiful and awesome. Okay. I'm just going to dry the sides here. I didn't do the back side. I'll do that later. I'm going to add, uh, the paste is called, let me show it to you really quick, it's called uh, Stone Effect Paste, okay? By Biba Decor, yes. That's right, you're my old guinea pigs. It's not going to dry clear, I, but I am actually going to go ahead and um, use a little bit of gesso and paint it up a little bit. But I kind of do like that brownish, that's why I picked it. It's a sand color. It's really funky. And I believe they have different colors. I could be totally wrong, but um, I know they do. And here's some other fun stuff they have. They have this fabulous, um, it's kind of like, it's this cool crackle paint. And what else do they have? They have a shimmery modeling paste, cream modeling paste. And um, there, here's the other one. Here's the other stone effect paste, which is kind of more white. I could have used that tonight. Um, so yeah, they have lots of fun stuff. So certainly go check that out. Really fun little company to play with. So now I'm going to bring back my little dish. And I think I'm actually going to use the cream and not the gesso. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit of that and take my paintbrush. And I'm going to use the small paintbrush because I don't want a whole lot. And uh, I'm very lightly going to kind of add a little bit of, let me show you. I want to do this close to the camera so that you guys can kind of see the effect that it's taking on. Let me see. Can you guys see that? It's really, really funky. Cool, huh? Right? And then it kind of blends into the page a little bit better. And we're going to add flowers over top of this. So really, you're just going to see very small pieces of this. Um, but this is kind of how you start layering things, right, in mixed media. This is just the first process of layering. Process. How do you guys say it? Process. I say process. You say process. Okay. And some of it is not quite dry. 
So give me a second. I'm just going to dry this up. Maybe you guys can go to the stucco section at um, Home Depot and get yourselves a big tub of this. No, just kidding. I'm sure it's not the same. I shouldn't say that. Okay, and I'm just going to do the bottom here as well, just a little bit. Add a little bit of beautiful texture and dimension. I just absolutely love this, you guys. I am so using this again. You best believe it. Okay. Loving it. All right. Can you guys believe tonight, this is the might be the only night I'm not using my Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> look it's only eight o'clock and we still have time to make a mini <laughs> hopefully i won't run out of time now that i say that we might go over just a tad but that's okay right you're still all with me we've got till 8 30 right all right just like that. All right, let's do the top part right here that I missed. And we can go ahead and start adding our gorgeous flowers and flowerness. Flowersness. Okay, just like that. Fabulous. Now I'm just going to give it a quick heat set. Oh, you're working on your Lindy's. Yay! Fairy Rhymes Collection by Jody Lee by Prima. That's the collection. I know. When there's a lot of people, sometimes the chat gets a little uh, weird and behind. Prima had a sale this week. What? What's up, Ava? Um, not while I'm not there, but you can certainly take some markers and color. Because you guys will make a mess huh you can come sit right here and, and paint if you guys sit right here you can paint but you got it's got to be in my craft room you cannot paint in your own craft room because I'm not see I'm not watching you and I'm afraid of what what may happen when I go upstairs <laughs> drive me crazy <laughs> okay let's get this party started now we're going to add some uh, delicious flower nests and I'm putting this off to the side for a moment and the first flower that I'm going to use is this uh, fabulous flower oh was I going to use this one or this one I really kind of like this pink one too it's really pretty but the white one is gorgeous so let's try this white one out uh, this one is, I'm sorry, this one's called Tatiana, can you guys see this? Tatiana Icicle, um, what's the number? 566340, sorry, I'm trying to read upside down. Okay, and so this will be our first one, so that'll go right there, okay? And let's not forget what we've done with this guy, okay? So this actually goes right here. And here, here's where the opening is. See you guys right here. So what you want to do is you actually want to cut it so that the opening doesn't get covered, right? Because you want to still be able to open your box, correct? Correct. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to turn it to its side and I'm going to add with my liquid glue, I'm going to um, add a little bit of glue right there. And this is where my um what do you call it um cheesecloth is going to go okay and i'm just going to kind of bundle it up just like that i feel like you guys can't see me because my thing is so ugly pixelated 
Whew, you want to know the difference between Lindy's, Shimmers, and other sprays? Oh my. Okay, I don't know much about Shimmers, so I don't, I, I'm going to just talk about Lindy's because I don't really know. But um, I know that for sure, I know that Lindy Stamp Gang is the only um, spray that is actually permanent. Okay. Oh, tell who we said hi. Um, anyway, it's the only that has it's a permanent spray, and so you can use it to dye fabrics and such, which is really fabulous. All our all our sprays are actually two tone, so we're the only company that actually makes a really funky two tone spray. All right, so that's one thing, and um, we have walnut ink that is two-tone spray, we have regular ink that's two-tone spray, and then we have our wonderful shimmer uh, sprays that is the glitz. So lots of different sprays and lots of different colors. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, tell the kids you say hi. I get it. The chat's behind. Okay, just like that. And then I'm just going to add the flower on the top. And I'm just pulling a little bit so that you can see a little bit of it. Do you guys see that? I just want to show you. Isn't that gorgeousness? Right? Just kind of sitting there. And I, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue right there so that this little puppy kind of stays. Okay, just like this but look how pretty that is I love that and I just want to make sure that all the sides are actually glued down so I'm just going to use my fingers and glue this down so that they're not popping up just like so Mom, can I get some paint? yes oh, but you have to be quiet out, out of here because my paint it's not a problem, but you really need to be quiet. Thank you. Okay, so there's there's that. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, and then so I told you which one this one was, right? This one's uh, Tatiana Icicle. And next, what we're going to do is we need to add a little bit of pink because there's quite a bit of pink here. So we're going to use the other Tatiana, which is Tatiana Coral. Permanent and amazing. Have you tried it, Steph? I think you have, haven't you? And this guy, I really kind of want to, um, I don't know where I want to tuck him. I want to tuck him about right there. But I'm not going to add him quite, quite yet. Because I want to grab a couple other ones. I want to add this one. I love this one. This one is Eminus Collection 546151. And it's a little bit older. An oldie but goodie. You know those oldie but goodies that you have? That's kind of where they go. And so we're going to tuck him right there. Don't use too much. Right? Yeah. Ava? Say yes, Mama. Yes, Mama. Thanks. The last one is orange. Okay. So we only pick red, pink, and orange. Okay. Oldies but goodies. Okay, so there's that one that we used. And then what I'd like to do is I'd like to take come kind of some of the little ones as well and I love where's the ones from this collection they're down here somewhere here they are I found them right here so I think I want to add one of these from this collection because this is uh, from the Jody Lee collection it's 565336 and it's just called Fairy Rhymes Collection and so I think we want to use a little bit of the, do we want a little bit of the blue? I think so. Oh no, but we're going to use the blue flower. So let's use the gray. A little bit of the gray. Oh, there we go. And we want to tuck. Okay. And we're going to add this flower right here. You want a paintbrush? Yes. Okay. That's the last thing you're going to ask for, right? Yes. Yes, mama. I want the purple one. Okay. That one is, is broken. So hang on a sec. Here you go. Honey bunny. Okay? Say thanks, Mama. Thanks, Mama. Okay. Love you. I jumped over before I got 
all painty on my socks. Well, painty on your socks would not be good. This one's called Avanti Straw. And we're going to use some of these browns and peaches. And we're going to start adding them here and there. Like we're going to add them right underneath the leaves here. And they just kind of poke out. You know what I mean? Can you kind of see that? They poke out a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to add some right here. And what you do is you want to make sure you don't add any glue to the opening, but you can add it right there so that it looks like it's kind of coming together, right? So just like that. And then last but not least, what we're going to do is we're going to add these little guys and these are the mini sachet spring 565961. This one I'm using the zip dry, which works really great really fast it's zippity doo we want to add just a little bit of that green because there is a little bit of that minty green in there and what I like to do is I actually like to keep these little uh, stems in there so that I can kind of tuck them they're really easy to work with if you kind of leave them on so I kind of like to do that and I just tuck it in right there just like so one right there and then we're gonna add another one right here on the side there and that one I'm not using the stem because it's going kind of right on the top but it is going right about there okay this is such a gorgeous box I love this paper <laughs> I always use too many flowers is there such a thing as too many flowers anyway? I don't think so. I like to use flowers. And I'm not ashamed to say it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not quite sure these are the right... You know what? I'm going to use these ones. These are the Sachet Lakeside. Because the blue is a little bit nicer. But I am going to take a little bit, one or two of these pinky ones from this one and we're going to add a little bit of white ink over the top to tone them down just a little bit. I do want a little bit of the blue. Gotta love your Prima. Right guys? Gotta love your Prima. And next we're going to do the little mini album. Okay, I promise. We're going to add this one right to the top there. And maybe we'll do a little pink one right beside it. So cute. So cute. Just like that. Okay. And we're going to do, where's the other pink? Here it is. I'm going to add the pink right on the bottom here. And we're going to tone it down in a second. That is a promise, my friends. Just pressing it down. said no one ever <laughs> okay so now what I'm gonna do I say that a lot I'm I, do you ever get annoyed with your own talking I do I feel like sometimes I talk too much and I'm annoyed at my own sayings now what we're gonna do now what we're gonna do now what we're gonna do bet you my students are like shut up woman if you're going to tell us what to do one more time. Just kidding. And I'm just adding a little bit of gesso, as you can see, because I'm toning it down. It's just a little bit too, too bright for me. So it's always good to just add a little bit of gesso-ness when the colors are a little bit too bright. It just adds a little bit of vintage. And this is already white, so it doesn't really need it. But the other ones are fine. Right, just like so. Just like so. Why? Um, fabulous. And we're not going to do the butterflies right now. We're going to just put that down for a moment. And the next thing 
I was going to use a vine, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now because I think that's pretty pretty. That's very pretty, right? So now we are going to take some of these. What I love is I have taken these. I've already die cut these fabulous little... Um, they're like the, the Sizzix Sizzlets. I love them. With the collection, I've cut several. And so I'm just going to tuck some underneath here. But I like to kind of cut them up. And I know I cut too many. But um, but that's okay. And I'm going to dip them on this really funky pattern. So I'm just going to kind of tuck them. And it gives them a little bit. It just gives the page a little bit more, um, I don't know, texture and depth and I really love that so that's what I'm doing it's just another piece of yumminess to the page if you will a little yumminess goes a long ways right I think so and this one can kind of go right there no now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little tag right there and so I love these little things and what I like to do is, ooh, I kind of like this guy. It's It says my secret. How cute. You can do this for anything. And I'm just going to use some fabulous three-dimensional dots. Ava, do you need a glass of water to put your brush in? Yeah. Okay, here you go, honey. Don't use too much paint. Here you go. And this, this is the last part of paint of this one. And that's the other one that we use, but not very much. Okay. What is this? It's just water. It's dirty water, but it's water. Okay. Is it paint water? It's paint water, so don't drink it. I tried it with milk. What do you guys think? Super adorable, right? And then, last but not least, I cut out one of the butterflies from the uh, papers as well and I'm going to go ahead and add that right there right on the top there maybe down here I don't know the top, I, I like the top because I think it needs something on the top so we're going to add it right to the top right there and I'm just adding it to the body okay so there's the box we could make the box super more elaborate but we're not going to because we still need to do a mini and we only have an hour and a half right we have like we have like 20 13 minutes to do um, the little mini. So we better get motor in, right? Let me show you so far. Cute, cute, cute little box, right? And here is the side of it. Oops, sorry. So this is kind of the side of it, which is really pretty, right? Okay, next, let's do the mini album because it's super easy. Oh, I was going to add a charm. Okay, before we do that, I'm sorry. I have to add a charm because you know me. I just need to. And I love these little Prima charms. These are called the Genie Stones 556679. And I'm just going to add it. Darn it. Just like right there. It's just so cute. I just have to. I don't know. I pulled it out. So it's like I can't not use it you know what I mean and I know you guys probably can't see it very well but you know it adds a little bit of something something so something something is something something okay there's that okay done done sealed delivered I gotta go upstairs and wash my hands good idea okay I'm gonna put this box to the side and let's make the mini Let's make the mini people. All right, so here we go. Um, let me show you. I'm just pulling it onto the side here. And this is like the super easiest mini ever. Look at this table. Yep, that's all going on my floor. The girl inside, don't worry, we'll do that in a moment. But I wanted to do the outside, and, and then if we have time, we'll do the inside. Okay. So here's a super duper mini, okay, that I was playing with when I was playing with the girls. So these, okay, this is just a, oh, can you guys see, okay? Check this out, okay? And all these are is these little envelopes. Let me show you how to make this. This is so easy. You guys will cry. That's how easy it is. So you can do this with this kind of envelopes, these kind of envelopes, it doesn't matter. 
but all you need to do to make this mini literally remember i said like two minutes okay no it'd be two minutes if i can find my atg gun okay here we go so just like this right you literally glue the envelopes to the flap and then you open the next flap and then you add seriously some tape <laughs> okay just like that i know it's like the simplest mini album but just wait because when you cover it up it's even cuter it's like we were trying to figure out how to make a little envelope thing. Okay, and then last, oh, there's a whole bunch more. I mean, I don't know how many more you can make, but you can make like a million of these. Like, depends how many pages you want, right? And just like that. And then all you need to do, right, is like you can close it up like this or like this, where it's like an accordion style. And if you actually add one more, and then you can add oops I didn't glue it very well but anyways and then it closes up just like that and then you can add a flap so why don't we decorate the one I had already done which I already cut the dimensions for which is this one okay so easy right you guys and I've already cut it up, so I am going to use this one right on the front because she's so stinking adorable, right? And what I'm going to do is I am going to ink the edges a little bit. Yeah, it's really that easy. It's really, really, really easy. Okay, and we'll just add this one like right here. And then these are, remember guys, right? These are either pockets, you can have them be as pockets, or you can just cover them right up. So it actually doesn't really matter. I'm covering them up because I didn't want pockets. I just wanted um, a tiny little mini, but you can have them be the pockets still, right? So I am covering them up. Okay, and then this one can be like right beside it. Hannah, Hannah go upstairs. You're not allowed to be with your sister today. You have been so mean to her. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Why do I have to go upstairs? Because you have not been nice. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to step over here. The, the paper. The, the yeah, but you're stepping on that. I have to. Hannah? No, Quiet. Hannah, go upstairs right now. Go do your own thing upstairs. Yep, quick and easy. And I'm just um, gluing this together. My measurement was a little bit off, so that's what I was playing with. Sorry. <laughs> I know these minis are super duper fast. That's awesome. No commercials. Yay. Okay, just like that. And then I love this little. Oh, who's that? We need to.
You guys, this is easy. I promise you, this is like the easiest mini ever. It's like the easiest mini on the planet. And you can like scook them it up. Do I attend the scrapbook expos? Um, not really, unless I'm invited to teach. <laughs> well, well, I'll ask Prima. I'll ask them. Maybe they want to send me to one. I don't know. I don't know. I think usually, um, like company, like the salespeople for companies usually go to those, don't they? I don't know. There's no more envelopes to mail you guys letters. I just use them for this mini. I didn't have my dimensions very well, you guys. Isn't that hilarious? Okay. And we'll do this. Did we do that one? Yeah, we did. Did we do this one? No. So let's do that one. Good night, Bonnie. Oh my gosh, is this not like the cutest little album? And I can't actually really take full credit because Hannah was kind of helping me with this one. And because uh, we were trying to make some stuff for her teachers and I have this giant box of envelopes and I'm like, I don't know. I'm not, you know, the greatest mini person and she is so creative. Oh look, this is upside down. And she was doing one with uh, some paper and stuff. And so that's how this kind of came about. Thank you. Okay. And last but not least, did we do this one already? I don't think we used this one, right? Okay, so let's use this one. Just like that. And then back, the back side can be this beautiful little butterfly. Love that. Thanks, Steph, honey. We'll see you on Live with Prima, hopefully on Thursday. Thanks for your support. I think Frank sneaked off. He actually tried to Skype me in the middle of this show, which is hilarious. So I, I, I think he forgot that I was doing the show. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I'm like, uh, I can't take your Skype call at the moment. I'm sorry. But check this out. Is this not like the cutest, simplest little mini ever? And then what we need to do is this can be like a little envelope where you put all your uh, stuff, whereas the other ones maybe are not envelopes. And then we need to do the flaps. So the only one that I didn't measure for is the, uh, the little flap. So let's do that really quick. And I have some extra pieces of paper here. So let's use that, shall we? So I'm just going to add... A little bit of glue right there and we're gonna add how's this gonna go let me see this way okay so we're gonna add it just like this and hopefully this is gonna work and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and I know I'm gonna cut this up but I don't care because this is going in the garbage right after this show but I'm just gonna go ahead with my craft knife this is my Prima craft knife that I love oh so dearly. I don't know what I would ever do without it. You guys all know this. I love it. It's like my baby. I would sleep with it if I could. Not really. I'm just making that up. Okay, just like so. How cuteness, right? And then we're going to ink this puppy up. Just like this. Okay. And you might want to, what you might want to do is what I would do is I would put a little piece of ribbon right there. I have some ribbon right beside me. This is not the intention for the show. 
but maybe we can use it just so that um, it holds the integrity of the flap because I think that it might come off otherwise and you know what we can even go a little bit on the inside as well so that it does not break off so I think that's what we're gonna do okay so we're gonna add a little bit right there and then you can still stick stuff there just like that maybe not maybe the the um, maybe you'll have to cover the what do you call it there we go just like that and then a little bit over the top okay see if this works these are not the right scissors as you can see to cut ribbon I need my ribbon scissors that's right these puppies are giant huh gigantor look Ava singing like me <laughs> um, I use zip dry just zip dry a little zippy zippy dry oh I thought you were living leaving stuff I I guess you're talking to somebody else. That's so funny. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like kick you off or say goodbye when I thought you were gone. <laughs> sorry about that. So sorry, my bad. Okay, I'm just making sure that it's really nice and in there. I know it's super cute and fast. Now it's just the embellishing really that kind of takes a little bit longer. And I just I'm just wanting to make sure that the um the flap kind of stays down. Oh, the lighting is a little bit off. Hang on a second. Is that a little bit better? Okay, just like that, all right? So, I don't know why this ribbon today is not staying. But anyhow, it's supposed to stay. Maybe, you know, the zip dry is really not taking on the glue very well. I think I will have to use my uh, Fabri-Tac. Except I'm almost out, which is why I didn't pull it out in the first place. So, you know what? For the purpose of the show, we're going to leave this ribbon off. And then I'll fix the seam at the end of the show with um, my Fabri-Tac. But what we're going to do right here is really, really easy. All you're going to do um, is you're going to take, we're almost done, you guys. We're going to take some brads. Any brads that you have will work. And so I'm just grabbing a couple that I have right here. And they're they're just like a, my mind's eye brads that are old as, they're anciently old. And I'm just taking... You can take one or you can take two. It's up to you. And I'm just going to poke a hole right through. Right. I'll poke a hole right here. Just in the middle right there. And put it right through. And I'm kind of going to not quite uh, poke it all the way. I'm not going to uh, push it down all the way. I'm going to kind of leave. I'm going to show you what I mean. See how I'm leaving a little bit of, can you guys see this? I'm leaving a little bit of the brad open so that I can kind of wind some ribbon through it. And then I'm going to do the same thing to here. And if you actually lift this paper a little bit, I should have done this before, but that's okay. We can poke it through and put a little um, piece of ribbon or something on it. And what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing, kind of like in the same length as that one. And... Oh, no, no, no. What am I doing? No, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Just leave that like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some, um, where is it? We'll take some Velcro. I'm just going to run and get it. Oh, 
Sorry. Thank you. I have too many ideas in my head. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some Velcro and I'm going to put one right here. And you can cover this up. And then you can put another one. This is a black one and a white one, but it doesn't matter. And you're going to add it right there so that you can just open this up, right? And just like that. How easy peasy is that? You almost totally do not need to um, embellish this up because the paper is so, so beautiful. But you totally can because really now all you can do, you guys, all you need to do is really just take your beautiful uh, tags and just add a couple tags here and there, right? With a little bit of pop dots just for a little bit of, you know, dimension. But really you can just shove this thing with tons of little photos, right? Like you can even, look how cute this is. If you put this right here and then put this little lovely right on the top. Oh, I should take these off. And you don't want to make this too thick, you guys, because otherwise you won't be able to close the album up. <laughs> right? Right, but super adorable. You can add a couple little flowers. Don't add too much. Like I said, keep it pretty flat and just put your photos in there. And then you can do tiny little banners. Like, let's see, look at this cute little banner right here. Right? You can do the same thing on the top right here. Add a little bit of pop dots to this puppy. Super duper adorable. Tut uh, right? Like the simplest and cutest little, little mini. And then I'll fix this up and maybe I'll make, um, I'll put some beautiful uh, seam binding or something on there. But ta-da, super, super easy. Little stickers in all. So that is it, my friends. That is it. And what time is it? It's 8.37. I think that's pretty good. I think so. So um, the inside of the box, really, you can like totally junk this thing up. And maybe I totally will um, after the show. But really, you could totally do the same thing, right? And put this cute little girly in there and prop her up and put a little uh, saying or something in there. Like, let's take a... Uh, what happened? The paper. The what? The paper. What? Oh, yeah, that happens sometimes, honey bunny. I'll, I'll help you. Look at that. Right? And you can add, like, her your girl's name or whatever, right? But super cute. And this, like, fits right in the box. Super duper simple. Simple, simple box and a simple mini. Ta-da. That's what we got today. Such a cute, cute little gift idea, right? Can I have my camera? Just wait. Okay, you guys, I'm going to put the camera up so you can see me. <laughs> There's mini Ava. Ava, do you want to say hello to our viewers? I'm just going to stop the recording.